Hello, hello everybody. This is Tracy Shinebright, your diamond painting BFF and your Poshmark closet girly. And I'm here today with an unboxing from DIY Moonshop. I'm super excited about this because I have a canvas made completely of crystals and I'm getting the third in a series called Moon Lullaby by Cheriuki. The other one is Sleeping Tiger, Winter Sleeping Tiger by Daria Krupina. So here we go, guys. Woo! Anyway, I have to go a little bit faster today. I have a friend in need who is a friend indeed who has some big information and I'm worried that he might be a little sad. So I'm gonna go check on him and run some errands. I've got a lot of techie issues with my business. I have a couple businesses. Um, and this right here is for fun. I, this channel is a way that I've been able to learn so much about uh, YouTube and use videography and photography for fun, as well as share my love of this craft. So I hope you guys like, subscribe, enjoy my channel. And if you guys like it, I can do more with it. Um, but for now, I also have a Poshmark closet and I'm so happy to report I made my first uh, diamond painting D stash sale and I was in Facebook on um, a D stash place and somebody said that they wanted one of the mystery kits and I was willing to sell it because I had bad experience with the mystery kit I won't even go into but she said she preferred to buy it even though I had to charge 20% more on Posh. And that's because Posh has a buyer and seller's protection program. So if you buy on Posh, the lister has to list it at 20% more than what the cost was because Poshmark takes that and they have a great buyer and seller protection plan. So you can find a lot of diamond paintings I got early on from AliExpress that I just love um, there. and some other accessories that I overbought basically. Um, and so if you want some of that, you know, visit. It's at Tracy Fox in the Poshmark closet. But here we go. So this is part of a set that I really love. And I love, um, DIY Moon Shop is my favorite. It's one of my top favorites, period. But they use premium acrylic drills. And so for those of you who do not know, there's resin drills and there's premium and well, there's just acrylic drills and there's different levels of quality. And as far as an acrylic drill goes, I think that DIY Moonshop um, has some of the best um, out there. I find a lot of their canvases can be pretty confetti heavy, but not all of them. It just depends on the artwork. And Cheriuki in this series, I started with one that I'm hoping to finish in January and it's down the rabbit hole. Um, the version that's really big and it was a lot more confetti heavy than I thought which caused me some frustration that it was taking me so long but I'm really close I'm I'm in the the end zone now <laughs> on finishing it so I'm so happy I'm gonna finish that this year and then I have to decide my next Cheriuki will I do this one that is beautiful or will and it's the newest kit that they have you know end of 2022 um, and so they've done a lot of upgrades since the first kit I bought and I can't wait to check that out. I've also, my third canvas that's similar to this series is in the library and it's, um, the same girl and she's sitting on the floor with all these rows of books behind her. And I don't know about you guys, but, um, I have a history of reading lots of books. And I love books, read books all the time, and maybe you do too. I really kind of love audibles a lot and listening to YouTube and just all kinds of things now because of the online internet explosion that wasn't around when I was young. But, you know, I love to read and I read all the time. I read a lot, all kinds of stuff. Some good, some not so good. So this canvas is a really good quality canvas. Um, like Diamond Art Club, it has scalloped edging. It has the little, the little cutouts there. It has the clear cover with the glue. This um, 
from where it rolls. This is no problem. This all lays flat. Um, it's got a really nice white border on it that I like with the legend printed on it. Um, the canvas is really good. So it's not quite as soft as Diamond Art Club, but it's almost as soft. It's, I mean, it's really close, guys. This isn't, a, this isn't like, here, you can see it up close. Um, this is a fabric on there, so it's not paper. And it's not, some of them, they, they like crinkle and wrinkle. They're gross. Their canvases are really good. They feel really nice. And so I think with the premium acrylic, it's the one company I'll buy from, even though it's acrylic. Um, they look, they now give them in Ziploc bags. That was a change they made at some point recently. And I love it in Ziplocs, um, especially with smaller diamond paintings. Because if you don't want to fully kit up, you can use these bags and the bags are really easy to open and close. I have an injury on my hand guys. I have really dry skin and I went on vacation in Florida. And when I came back, um, it was so cold. It was like negative degrees. I went from feels like 82 to feels like negative 12 and I didn't have gloves and the skin on my hands literally cracked from how dry it was. So this is 50 by 70 centimeter, it's round. You can get it round and square. They offer maybe two size options on this canvas, but it's just gorgeous. So um, let me see if I notice. I'm gonna open these up and look at the drill legend. So with DIY Moonshop, you do not get a sticker sheet, but you can, um, like I scan the paper legend that they enclose, which is in color. So that's really nice. And then I just cut it and tape it to the front of my drill containers. Some people get really fancy and use sticker printers to do stuff like that. But you can see what there is. And it looks like there's one AB and it's AB 819. So there's regular 819. 818 and AB 819. Let me look at the legend and see where that is to see if I can show you where those are. Okay, so R is it. Oh, look at these, they're in order. Wait, are they in order? I think they are in order. Okay, well, not quite. I don't see my 800s there. Let's see, a lot of them are in order. Um, there we go. They put, they just put the AB 819 at the end. So look at that. That's a really, um, beautiful peachy cream. Oh, really nice. So, um, that is going to be the letter R. And so I see a lot of R sprinkled down here. And I bet it's going to be the moon. Look at the moon. I can tell by the color render. This has great color render. And I had trouble on my first canvas. I thought I was going blind because I was having trouble seeing the, um, the symbols. And there was one I called an alien and one I called a bunny and they were so similar. And then the color was so similar. It was hard to tell the difference. And I didn't know why, but I was really frustrated. But um, they've gone to doing mostly um, numbers and letters. And so I'm looking at the legend where their numbers and letters are the whole thing. So you don't have to worry about any confusing symbols on their canvases anymore. And I love, love their personal touch when they wrapped it, but their boxes are really nice guys. And like, I never want to put the sticker on the end because I should, because I could find stuff better, but they put the sticker on the end for you. This is the next one I'm going to do. But so when you stack them in your stack, you can see on the end without having to dig through and your pile potentially falling. But um, let's look up here at this moon. So we've got ours. There's quite a bit of confetti. Um, but they've basically got just a, a little bit. They've got just a little bit of a touch of R over here. Um, I'm really just going kind of quickly 
looking for this color palette. So over here, you have a few R's. You have one R there. They do have a little R, so they've got a capital R. So when we want a little touch there, just one right there by itself. And then You know, they're real, they're real light, um, the amount of R's, I don't see any there offhand. I'm looking real fast, but um, yeah, so there's not a lot of ABs in here, which is really good because they still have the color 819. And so that gives you the option. Oh my gosh, so, okay, so they use the same symbol, capital R. So whenever you see R, you can choose. Do you want to use this AB? or do you wanna use it without the AB holographic coating? Because they're both R. So you get both your 819s together, and then depending where you're at, you can choose. I think that's great. That's what I love to do um, with when I'm adding ABs to my diamond paintings. I have the two similar um, colors together and decide if that area, I wanna add a sh extra shine or I want it to be more of a matte look. Because you can definitely, like on one hand, I feel like you can't go wrong adding ABs, but on the other hand, you could. So, and that's part where, you know, I looked at like kind of having a slogan, you know, when I started. And so many people call this a craft. I don't really want my diamond paintings to be a craft. I want my diamond painting to be more of an art form where, yes, it's a little crafty. We're using another artist's work. We're using the work of the artists that do the render to decide the colors and the placement um, where. But then you have the diamond painter who decides, do I want to add ABs or not? Do I want to add other crystals, other special gems? Do I want to change it? You know, how do I want to change a piece of art and make it mine? And a lot of them, um, you may not want to make any changes, all right? But sometimes you might, and that's part of where diamond painting, I think, can be an art form where you make changes and you have those changes that are your own special style. So I wouldn't be quick to call this just a craft um, because it can be an art form as well. And I know diamond dots, they really promote freestyling, but oh, how hard is that? And then you have people doing cross stitch conversions, plotting that out. Oh, that looks so hard. And um, and so it, it can be an art form. Well, there's my big dog out there barking. So hang on a second and I'll come back and show you my crystal canvas, which is Winter Sleeping Tiger by Daria Krupina. Okay guys, I'm back. So this is a lovely canvas. There's no problem seeing the symbols anymore. Yay! Just like all other diamond painting companies that have been here that actually listen to their customers and actually make improvements. That's what we all want and what we love. Um, and DIY Moonshop is one of those companies that does that. Um, as has Diamond Art Club and really, really improved over time the quality of what they're doing. And you know, I can't imagine how hard it is to find suppliers um, that a lot of these companies have to do. And um, you know, it's difficult. So here we go. So I now have this small one that I'm super excited because it's crystals. And not all of the diamond paintings at DIY Moon Shop are offered in crystal. But if you are somebody that absolutely loves resin drills and you can't have premium acrylic, then the thing to do at DIY Moon Shop is you pick an artist you like and just get it in crystals. Yes, it costs more because it's crystals, but the crystal art is amazing. This is my third crystal that I purchased from them. The first two were completely different color palettes and one is shown on an unboxing, it's Frida Kahlo, um, and that color palette's amazing. I've got a second one that's Happy by AJ Trier with the Pomeranian, that's pastel. And so this Sleeping Tiger, I expect to have a lot of whites, a lot of reds, and browns. Oh, look at it, guys. 
Oh, the bling factor is huge. And it's manageable. And it doesn't look like it's crazy confetti. Yay! I know some people love, love, love confetti. And I love it when I get a certain result in the art. But it's pretty arduous. This one's going to be fun, you guys. This, oh, the background's great. It doesn't have tons of confetti. There's lots of color blocking with little mixes of confetti in there. Now, sometimes their canvases can be deceiving because you there's more confetti than you think, you know, when you see the color blocking. But um, overall, this is really relaxing on my eyes. So I got a toolkit, and here's the toolkit there. This is one of my favorite styles of white boats. Oh, look, the multi-placer's already stuck in there. Yay, that's great, because I hurt my hand. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's, um, so that's good. You get a pot and you get the extra wax with the pot. And I even got tweezers, even though, well, it's crystal. My other one's round, right? Yeah, round. Okay. So, whoa, there it goes. All right. Here's the other pack I got. So yeah, I got all the goodies, all the necessaries. So here we go. So here's the legend. And since everything's already crystal, you aren't going to see ABs. But there's the sheet that I would scan and save, and then I would cut this out so that I have colors to tape to my kit up. And I have learned that even if you have a smaller one where you think maybe you don't need to kit up, DIY Moon Shop, I think it's kind of good to kit up because still they have a little bit more confetti than you might be used to um, with Diamond Art Club or Diamond Dots. Not Diamond Painting Deutschland level confetti, no. Not that much, but. Okay, so let's check out these crystals. And I'm not sure which side. Ooh, the red, red. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's gonna be so much fun. Look at that, just, um, you know, there are a lot of crystal kits and mandalas and sceneries, but not what I see at DIY Moon Shop where they have um, just a beautiful piece of artwork. And here I have an animal and then getting it in all crystal piece of art, you know, not, like a cartoon, like a little higher quality art. You know, a, it's all art, right? But um, a little bit more mature art. <laughs> I don't know how to say, maybe you know what I mean. But to have a certain style of art, of which there are many <laughs> DIY moon shop and crystals, I don't think you see that um, just anywhere. And I don't think it exists just anywhere. And the fact that they offer as many as they do is a really distinguishing um, fact. Look at that, that green. Can you see it? I'm worried I'm not holding it correctly up to the camera. Wow. So yeah, oh, look at that. Oh, 815, oh, that's my favorite red shade. I love that shade. Okay. 303, one. Yeah, you guys, oh, it's just so beautiful. Um, this is a really gorgeous winter animal canvas. It's a very manageable size, 43 by 30 centimeters. So 30 centimeters is 12 inches, guys. So you got a ruler length on one side and then just over that on the length. And, I think it's gonna be gorgeous and beautiful. And I'm so, so glad to have Moon Lullaby in my collection. Um, and in case you didn't know, DIY Moon Shop is a small family run business and they support so many other small businesses that are artists in the community. It's really great to support them and keep them going. They are continuing to make so many improvements and listen to customer feedback 
which is how, you know, any diamond painting company that I've been looking at, how they grow and how they succeed. Um, they really do a lot of special stuff, how they used to do their wrapping and their videos and their raffles. And I was so excited to, on my Instagram, be able to do like a pop-up um, collaboration with them where, you know, you follow me on Instagram, follow them, leave a comment, and then I do a drawing in a couple days for a gift certificate. So Raxify and I have been doing that and Raxify is more of an official affiliate. I'm not, I'm just having fun and I just love to support um, the community and the diamond painting companies and um, I'm having so much fun with this craft. So in the sum, in the end, I wanna show you my new tennis shoes. My new tennis shoes have diamonds on them. So check out this, this video here at the end for that. And remember guys, please like, please subscribe, please ring my bell, please leave me a comment and let me know, especially if you have an opinion about crystal drills or cherry yuki. What are your thoughts? Do you have any canvases? like that. Um, what are your recommendations on crystal canvases, different shops, and have you bought any crystal canvases um, from DIY Moon Shop? Let me know in the comments. Let me know your experiences, and I can't wait. This is going to be beautiful, and I love that it's manageable size, so it's going to be so pretty. This is going to be really pretty. I'm excited to see it. So anyway, guys, thanks so much. Remember, I'm your diamond painting BFF and your Poshmark Closet girly. So my Poshmark Closets at Tracy Cox. I have fun talking about fashion and reselling stuff there too. So, you know, give me a shout out wherever you want. And remember, stay safe, happy holidays, and shine bright.